In this problem, we're told to evaluate the improper integral from 2 to infinity of e to the minus 5p dp. So in order to solve an improper integral like this, what you're going to want to do is rewrite it as a limit. So what you're going to say is, is equal to the limit, and then choose a variable. It can be any letter you want. So I'm just going to say t. So as t approaches, and then if you have an inf if you have a like infinity or negative infinity, and then a definite number like this, you're just going to say as t approaches uh, whatever it is. So in this case, it's positive infinity. So as t approaches positive infinity, and then you're just going to rewrite your integral, this thing right here. So the integral from 2, and then you're going to replace the infinity, in this case, right, the infinity with a t. So the limit as t approaches infinity from the integral from 2 to t of e to the minus 5p dp. So we just rewrote it as a limit. And so now what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and solve this integral. And then we'll do what we got to do after that. So we're going to say it's equal to, right? So I'm just going to rewrite our integral so we can go ahead and solve it. So e to the minus 5p dp. So you can use u substitution to solve this, or you can just uh, generally with these, you can just recognize e to the minus 5p. So if you think about it as like a number or as a function whose derivative is going to be this, so if I just say minus 1 over 5 e to the minus 5p, right? Because if we take the derivative of this, e to the minus 5p is, uh, right? So it's going to be minus 1 over 5 e to the minus 5p. And then we just multiply it by the derivative of the inside, right? So the chain rule. So this is just going to be minus 5. And then minus 5 times minus 1 over 5 is just 1. So it would just become this. So essentially, we just know that the antiderivative of this is going to be equal to minus 1 over 5 e to the minus 5p. You can also do it, do this through u substitution, but uh, you got to get good at recognizing these because uh, it's just going to be a lot easier to do it that way. And so now we just got to evaluate it from our range, so from 2 to t. And so uh, what we're going to do is just plug in t, and get a value, minus, and then plug in 2, and then subtract that. So plugging in t, you're just going to get it equals minus 1 over 5. It's going to be equal to minus 1 over 5 t, or e, my bad e to the minus 5t, and then minus, right, because you got a minus, and then we're going to plug in this, but we're minusing minus 1 over 5, so that just makes it positive, so just plus 1 over 5 e to the minus 5, and then times 2, because we're plugging in 2, so 2 times minus 5 is going to be minus 10, so we can just rewrite this as, uh, well, 1 to the minus 10, or e to the minus 10 is just 1 over e to the 10, so this is just going to be 1 over 5, 1 over 5 times e to the 10. So all we did was rewrite it like that. And so now we've got it like this. So what we're going to want to do is just evaluate it with the limit now. So this whole thing is just this integral evaluated. So now we just want to do it as a limit. So if we just parentheses this, the limit as t approaches infinity. So we're just going to plug in t and evaluate this limit. So let's go ahead and plug in t, or infinity, for t. So if we plug in infinity for t, Notice this is going to be minus 1 over 5 e, and then minus 5 times infinity. That's going to go ahead and give you, uh, or mi minus 5 times infinity is negative infinity. So this is negative infinity, right? So notice that 1, or negative infinity, is the same thing as 1 over e to the infinity. 1 over e to the infinity, uh, you should notice that this number is just going to go to infinity. e to the infinity is essentially infinity. And 1 over infinity essentially just goes to 0, because this is just going to be a bigger and bigger number. So it's going to approach 0. And then 0 times minus 1 over 5 is just 0 still. So we just have 0 plus and then 1 over 5 e to the 10, because we don't have a t on this term. So this is just going to stay a constant. So essentially, this limit is just going to be 1 over 5 e to the 10. And so what you should notice is that this goes to a concrete number, right? So it just goes to an integer. It doesn't go to like infinity or negative infinity. And because it does that, it's going to mean that this converges. So this integral right here, this improper integral, is going to converge to 1 over 5 times e to the 10. So this right here is going to be your answer. So it's going to converge to 1 over 5 times e to the 10. And so yeah, this is going to be your answer to this problem. And hopefully you found this useful.